So you guys said you wanted some blue crew stickers, some AR-12 decals, and some AR-12 stickers all in one pack? Well, we've made that. It's called the Variety Pack, and there's a link in the description down below if you want one. So guys, today we are going to be installing mud flaps on my Super RX STI. The car was completely stock and living here in Canada, mud flaps is sort of a necessity, not so much now when it's ugly and rainy and actually looks like the UK. We need it when it snows, because when it snows, they throw salt everywhere, and I don't want all of that salt going onto my paint and rusting out my paint and ruining it. So, I got some mud flaps and we're going to install them today. So anyways, before we get into it, as you guys probably know, I've been asking you guys for a little while now, Golf R, that looks cool. I've been asking you guys for places where I can actually buy some Subaru parts, because on the surface, I am a Volkswagen person. I know everything about that car. I don't know anything about Subaru. So I've been asking you guys, okay, where is the best place to buy some parts? And a bunch of you guys told me to go over and check out Edge Autosport. Anyway, so I found them and I'm gonna be using them for just about everything from now on. The next thing on my list is either coilovers or an exhaust, probably an exhaust first, because I need some vroom vroom with the Subaru. If you wanna check them out, I'll include a link in the description down below and you can see what, what stuff they offer. If you have a car, you can check them out for uh, for your car needs as well. So let's start it up with installing the front mud flaps. The front ones are so much harder than the back ones, you have to do quite a bit of work. So the first step you need to do is undo some bolts or some, some plastic clips. They're basically push pop clips or something like that. They're very annoying to get off and this part took us so long to do. Getting these things to pop off in such a way that's clean and you don't absolutely ruin them is super, super hard. So I would recommend if you are doing something like this, make sure you have some extra, order some online. They're super, super cheap. Just get some because you will break them. So anyways, take the ones on the side skirt off, then go into the fender, turn your wheel all the way to the way you're working. So if you're working on the right-hand side one, turn your wheel all the way to the right, or you can take it off either one if you wanna be lazy and do what I did and leave the wheel on, just turn it all the way. So once you've done that, you can peel the side skirt back a little bit and then take part of the fender off. I, I, it's not actually part of the fender, but it's like, well, the fender would be. It's plastic and it pops right off and you can pop that off and then poo yourself once you think you've broken it. And then after that, there are five more of those little plastic push pop thingies that you need to take out from the inside fender. Once that's done, you have to slip in this metal clamp thing holder bit that's included with the mud flap kit and you slip that between the plastic of the, the fending, fender liner and, the, and the, the side skirt. Once that's in, you screw it all down and you pull it as far as you can to the center of the car. Here's what happened to us. We started off with the front ones. We were starting off with the front right. That was our first one we were doing, so we took it slow, read all the instructions and everything, and made sure we were doing it properly. After that, we went to the front left to get that one out of the way. And then when I was doing that one, the fender the fending, fender liner was all messed up for some reason. Someone must have taken it off at some point and done it up incorrectly. And it was all out of shape and everything like that. So I had to basically yank the thing and get it back into place where it's supposed to be. So once you've gotten the metal clamp on, you toss the mud flap on and use the short screw and the washer, and that's basically it. It's very, very simple once you know what to do. We did have dinner in between, I will say that. So it, it probably didn't take us three hours, it probably took us two hours. I would say an hour and a half for the front, and then half an hour for the back. The back is much, much easier. So anyways, yeah, that, that was a pain. The front were so annoying. Anyways, you can probably get a good sense of how we did everything on video. I am not an expert at this whatsoever, but if you do pick up the pick up the mud flaps, it's very self-explanatory. They give you actually awesome instructions if you take the time to read them. The ones on the back are actually really, really cool because they're actually quite long and thick. Yep, long and thick. Anyways, they give the appearance that your car is much lower than it actually is, and it looks really, really cool. All you have to do is pop off one of those little push pin plastic things off the, off the rear bumper underneath it. And then once that's done, all you have to do after that, you'll have a metal bracket, another one for the rear this time. It's a little bit different. It's a much smaller than the front one. Anyways, you just slip that under the bumper, like sort of like in, in between the bumper and the fender liner, basically. So there's no metal sticking out of your car. It just sort of slips in there. And then after that, you just put your mud flap on, do up the bolts and it's actually very, very easy the back. Uh-oh. <sighs> <laughs> oh 
I'm obviously great at this. Obviously. Like I said, Jess did most of the reading and actually did the rear left one all by herself. And then I was like, I can do that. So I did the rear right one and it literally took half an hour. So I would say in total, if I was to do it again, oh my God, it would be such a short job, but just going into something that I didn't really know anything about and especially getting those stupid little push plastic thingies off. So annoying. But yeah, if I was to do it again, it would probably take 45 minutes. It's really not very difficult if you do know what you're doing. I think they look really, really cool. I know some people are probably gonna be like, eh, they look dumb, but I really like them and they look pretty cool and they're gonna help a lot during the winter when it, gets start when it starts to get all snowy and it, it, it starts to snow and there's a bunch of salt on the ground. It will help a lot then because I don't want to be having salt shoot up everywhere and ruining my paint and stuff like that. So that will be awesome. Short, quick, simple job if you know what you're doing. Adds a little element to your car, make it stand out a little bit. Looks pretty cool if you were to ask me. And I'm just making this car stand out for F1. It should look pretty cool. I have a couple more weeks left. So if you are coming to Montreal for the Grand Prix, look out for this car and look out for the Subaru, uh, look out for the Golf R32. They they should be next to each other and we'll do a meetup or something during, during the F1. But yeah, I'm very, very excited. This car is starting to come come alive. I have, a, I have a couple more things coming in the mail next week that help with some aesthetics and should just add to the car even more. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like down below. Let me know what type of exhaust I should get for this car because like I said, I'm gonna be checking out Edge Autosport for all of my future mods and stuff like that. So if there's an exhaust you, shit, SVR. Um, if there's an exhaust you guys know of, I've been looking at the NVIDIA Q300 on there but it's around $1,000 or so, but it looks really, really cool. Um, I don't know, I'd be looking at that and I'm, I kind of really want to buy it. Anyways, the link to Edge Auto Sports gonna be in the description down below and you can check them out for, uh, for some parts for your car. Subscribe if you guys want to see some more videos like this. I will have some more of them up sometime next week and you guys can check that one out when I get some more cool stuff to this car. Anyways, I'm off to have lunch. I'll see you guys in the next one.